Hi chums, um, you can see what Robbie Power does to your workshop when he arrives and just takes over and makes a whole mess of the place and then walks out as if he's done nothing. So I'm going to have to clean it up here but it's given me a chance to show you this uh, extractor that I've built. Now it looks really complicated right? But what's wrong is this hose is going everywhere because I haven't got it set up properly yet but it's just basically hoses are in position until such times as they find where they work best and where they work best from. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, just clean up here. I'll show you how this sweep works first and then I'll show you how the uh, hoover it works as well because I can separate these and I'll hoover off these boxes and stuff and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what I did with the sweep. The sweep is actually the dust extraction for a table saw but I've uh, basically turned it, <laughs> repurposed it, it's not where we all use now, repurposed. So I'll do this, if you're wearing headphones you might want to turn them off because this is going to be pretty noisy or turn them down anyway, okay. Just give me a second to go over and turn this on and get myself into position. Right, that's okay, right, turn this baby on. And so we'll do the we'll do the sweep first. just basically your a dust hood for um, a table saw and what I did was I just um, where are we at? I just built a little frame around there to let the stuff go in. Now I've just noticed that it takes a while, it jams there a wee bit but uh, it does eventually go up so it's, it's not as if it's piling up and blocking itself the stuff does go up but it just gets blocked up against there a wee bit but it's a crude crude affair but it does the job okay. But I quite like the, I quite like this affair here. I quite like this effect where you can go out and hoover the thing up and it seems to lift the stuff pretty well. So I'm happy enough with that. Oops. Nothing's, nothing's joined together yet because everything's just, um, just a, a friction fit or interference fit because I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I don't want to make any decisions yet on the actual setting up of the thing because uh, I've still to put the stuff overhead yet so I'm going to do that later 
um, whenever my brother-in-law comes out he's going to help me with it. The lathe, I didn't get the lathe but um, I didn't bid on it because by the time I went to bid it was already over, it started £1,200 which is about $2,000 and uh, now you're talking this is about six, four, about $4,000 lathe so it was half price and I set myself about £1,600 as my limit that included to bring the lathe here which would cost over £100 so I really only could bid to £1,500 so um, when I went to look, when I washed it, it was really over that and it went for 1650 I think, or 1655 to add another 100 pounds odd, it would cost me 1800 pounds to get it here for $3,000 and I can buy a brand new one for $4,000 so I thought to myself, and I can get it delivered, for, it'll, it'll be delivered for nothing so uh, I thought, well, I'll just save up and buy one when I've got the money to do it, you know so uh, I'm putting a lot of money into the house at the moment, a lot more than I expected to, but I could I could do it, but I don't want to put myself under pressure, you know. So whenever we get recovered from this financial blow on the savings, we'll just do it more saving and maybe get a lathe later on, you know. They're coming down in price. They're down about six hundred pounds on that one lathe. It's down from three thousand to two thousand four hundred. So uh, this, I don't know if that's because the pound's getting stronger, the dollar's getting weaker, I'm not too sure which. But anyway, that's it, folks. So I've, the reason this is all three other is because I haven't decided where this stuff's going yet. But when that's done, I'll show you it properly. But I wanted to show you the thing working, and it works It works quite well. Um, if I put a nozzle, a narrow nozzle, on the end of that hose, a pipe, it would lift a lot better. So I might do that. Okay, that's it then, folks. A quick look at the cyclone. Whenever, the next time I'm, I'm sanding something, I'll let you see what I do to collect the dust from that. It works really well. Okay, all the best now. Bye-bye.